Hello everyone, it's Ben again. Cloud computing has become an important part of our lives. It has changed the way we use internet and there are a number of reasons why, why, why you should learn cloud computing. Amazon Web Services, Azure Cloud, Google Cloud Platform are dominating the cloud market. So cloud computing is made the internet more accessible and made the world smaller place you know <laughs> for example now you can just ta -ta -ta, spin up a virtual machine in the US or in the Europe while you're sitting you know in Asia or you're sitting in Africa and that too is just under five minutes and that's the beauty of cloud so in this video I will share with you the reasons why you should learn cloud and how you can start your career as a cloud engineer Welcome back to the Tech Skill Mastery. So cloud computing is growing and growing. It is a growing industry, you know, that offers many benefits for businesses. But as an employee, a career in cloud computing can be equally beneficial for you. Uh, let me share with you three reasons for you to just get onto the cloud bandwagon and start to learn it. So the first thing, flexibility. One of the main benefits, you know, for cloud computing is the flexibility it provides. You know, cloud developers or operators can work from anywhere and can access the same, the same, the same resources as an employee in the company headquarters, you know. So the second thing is a uh, six-figure salary. Salary for cloud developers depends on the experience and the skill set required, of course. You know, as Skilled cloud developers with five years of experience can expect to earn a salary of 100k per year. So if you have hybrid cloud experience and have knowledge of multiple cloud services uh, providers, uh, expect you know your salary of not less than 100k, but you know while going and going upwards, you know. And the third thing that I have for you: more jobs and job security. Cloud developers and operators are in high demand and there is growing demand for the cloud-based solutions you know so cloud computing has made the internet more reliable and faster making it uh, easier you know to access the information and be productive and stay up to date with the latest technology trends so this is lead to an increase like in the number of jobs available in the field of uh, cloud computing you know and also an increase in the salary. So now that you are aware of the benefits, let's dive in on how to learn cloud computing. Now, so the first thing, learn by doing. <laughs> what do you mean, Ben? Learn the fundamentals of cloud technology, such as networking, security, Linux, programming, and automation. And the fundamentals, e.g. AWS services like EC2 instance, S3 bucket, RDS, VPC. After that, you need now to start building. It's easy you now to start building in the cloud. AWS takes care of the heavy stuff so you can just do things easily and create personal website for hosting it on S3 and host a WordPress blog on EC2 instances, you know. Instances are free, like, for, for the first year. So those small projects, like sending yourself messages when uh, someone you like tweets or is on the news or somewhere, send yourself, you know, daily text messages using Lambda and SNS. So if you don't know how to code, use other engineers code online, you know, there are many, <laughs> and concentrate on infrastructure as a code, like using Terraform. So learn about automation uh, in the cloud and automate small things using AWS, uh, CLI, and SDK. Use cloud formation and provisioning infrastructure, you know, put your projects and on the uh, GitHub, be visible, you know, contribute to other projects on GitHub. Certification gets you noticed, but experience is what companies look for. So if you have both, it's good. So my suggestion is to go for certification only after having at least like six months of <laughs> hands-on. So the second thing, learn more by sharing. Uh, share what you learn, you know, with others by helping others you learn even more. And when they ask you questions, you need to go deeper to help them to find answers, you know, write blogs, make videos like what I'm doing, tweet about the cloud, create a LinkedIn profile and share, you know, what interests you. Do what, you know, interests you. But with cloud tools, uh, use AWS, machine learning services to create small projects, you know, that would be very good for you. And yeah, so the third thing, dive deep, you know, read more, 
go deeper read white papers look at best practices you know watch reinvent videos there are a lot watch webinars ask questions at webinars go to meetups attend virtual meetings you know uh, and don't be afraid to ask a stupid question and ask a lot of questions to make you go deeper the fourth thing profile and networking create a resume account with all the things that you've done meetups you have attended cloud events you have gone to training that you've done and small projects you know that you have completed list your github you know profile on your resume and list your linkedin profile on your resume as well start applying to jobs you know update your linkedin you know title say that you are looking for a cloud aws related job or gcp once you get uh, into the groove you you want to keep on going and there are many aws gcp azure related position out there cloud architects a cloud engineer support engineers sales business development technical trainer cloud evangelist you name it developers product management uh, you know and many so you find out that uh, you can fit in one or more of, of of these roles so don't be afraid so bonus tip learning aws uh there is aws edge kit started 20 in 2015 aws edge kit is designed for cloud curious learners like students and people in the job training programs aws skill builder you know offers many of free and paid educational services you can take you know advantage of more than 500 you know digital courses and learning plans you know and official practice questions you know to prepare you for your aws certification at no cost so the cloud plays a role in a huge number of businesses and industry uh, from gaming to financial services to retail to manufacturing you name it you know and all sorts of careers now depend on it as well so from the system admins to developers so good luck and get started don't forget to like to subscribe and to ring the notification bell as always keep on skiing in the tech world